Guys, I uh, want to tell you a little bit of a story how I got into a bit of trouble. Um, look, I was at a house party, okay? I had a couple of drinks, uh, a couple of West Coast coolers, and uh, <laughs> I stumbled a little bit accidentally and accidentally knocked a guy. And I apologised straight away. I was like, I'm so sorry, dude. I'm really sorry about that. But I knew straight away that this guy was trouble because, unfortunately, this guy was uh, half a pigeon. <laughs> and I say that simply because his reaction was just, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck was that? I was scared stiff, you guys. <laughs> and he looked at me and he just said, do you bloody want to fight? And I thought, uh, oh, you haven't really sold it. <laughs> but the thing is, I didn't know what to do. And I knew one guy at the house party, a good friend of mine, Paul, you see, and he's right next to me, saw all this unfold. And Paul's, he's not a big guy, like he's probably up to about my shoulder. Nuggety dude. But uh, you see, Paul can handle himself, because Paul, he was born in Manila, He's lived in Australia most of his life, but he studied Muay Thai boxing his entire life. Like, I think that's what they do in Manila. They make folders and they throat punch people. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is, you see, you know for a guy, when you have a fight, your gender's on the line. Like, if there's a fight, there's a physical challenge, everyone's like, come on, man up. Come on, man up, mate. You know that as a dude, if you don't man up to this, you lose your gender. Like, women, you don't have to put up with that. You, no one's ever said that to a woman. No one's ever said, come on, mate, just woman up. <laughs> come on, grow a vag, get in there. Yes. <laughs> come on, flap up, chop, chop, let's go. <laughs> so now it's weird, right, because we're in this triangle, because the pigeon, he's still looking at me, right? <laughs> pigeon in a way. But I'm not looking at him, I'm looking at Paul, but Paul's not looking at me, Paul's looking at the pigeon. <laughs> so I look at Paul, and this kind of just treacled out of my mouth, guys. He just went, um... I don't know, Paul, do you want to fight him? <laughs> and Paul, I did not expect this response, right? He just looked at me, he sized the pigeon up, who's significantly larger than him, and he just went, okay. <laughs> All of a sudden, I backed away, guys. I was like a damsel in distress. I'm like, oh, you rogue, you. <laughs> and then Paul, I thought this stuff only happened in the movies, right? He just goes, okay, mate, if we're going to fight, let's fight outside. Then he just strolls outside with all the confidence in the world. And the pigeon, even though he didn't look like the sharpest tool in the shed, he understood the tacit agreement. He's just like, hey, <laughs> <laughs> And then everyone at the party, we all morphed into like nine-year-olds at a primary school. We're like, oh shit, there's gonna be a fight. <laughs> now when I say everyone, I mean everyone but me, because I was too ashamed to head out there. Paul absolutely mopped the floor with the pigeon, and here I was, I was alone in a house. I didn't know. Okay, just thinking to myself, is this really what has just happened? Am I even a real man? Is this what the 21st century has created? Men like me, where there was a physical altercation that I didn't want to address, and not only that, I outsourced it to the Philippines. <laughs> Guys, thanks so much for listening to my waffle. Have a great night.